clip the electric stand together with the base plate. Using the H2.5 hex key, install four M4 X10 screws to secure the electric stand with the base plate. Mount the laser unit onto the electric stand, then tighten the knob by turning it counterclockwise to secure it. Remove the lens cover. Place the protective cover under the laser unit. Make sure you align both screws in place. Tightening the two screws clockwise to secure the protective cover in place. Attach the front light filter. Insert the protective cover cable to the third USB port. Connect 0.6 meter USB-A to USB-C cable to the second USB port and the electric stand. Connect the AC power adapter and power cable. Insert it to the DC power port. Insert the security key to the laser unit. Solid yellow, powering on. Solid white, connecting to network. Blinking white not connected to network. Solid blue, connected to software. Blinking blue, connected to network. Solid green, engraving in progress. Blinking green, file in transit. Solid red, emergency stopped and disconnected. Blinking red and blue, firmware updating. <laughs> To download the Laser Pecker Design Space software or app, please click the link in the description box. Power on the LP2 Plus. Open Laser Pecker Design Space app. Tap the plus in the top right corner. Select LP2 Plus, then Next. Select your machine and proceed to the next step. Select the Wi-Fi you want to use and type in the password. Tap Next to finish the Wi-Fi configuration. Connect the 1.5 meter USB-A to USB-C cable to the laser unit and your PC. Open Laser Pecker Design Space software. Click Connect the device. Select USB as the connection method and proceed. Alternatively, you can use Wi-Fi connection on your PC. After successful cable connection, click on the settings icon. Under Wi-Fi configuration, select the same Wi-Fi that your PC is currently using to complete the Wi-Fi connection setup. After configuration, you can connect your LP2 Plus to your PC without the cable. A button single press raises the laser unit 0.5 millimeters. Long press for continuous raising. Down button single press lowers the laser unit 0.5 millimeters. Long press for continuous lowering. During the engraving process, you can short press this button to pause the engraving. Tap continue button in the app to continue processing. Preview button. When finished the engraving, press the preview button to preview the last engraving file. Replace a new material according to the preview box. Tap engrave again in the app to start the engraving process. During the case of emergency or machine malfunction, press the emergency stop button to cut off power instantly. Place the material on the base plate. Import your design, then tap Preview. Adjust the laser unit height by using the up or down button. Focus is successful when two red dots become one. Place the ruler vertically on the material and measure the distance between the surface of the material to the bottom part of the lens. During the preview stage, type in the measured distance and tap Confirm. The laser unit will automatically adjust to the correct focal distance. When using the handheld mode, 
place the protective cover directly onto the material. At this point, the focal distance is 150 millimeters, which is the correct distance. Place the material on the base plate. Open the app and connect to the machine. Tap Create. Import your design or choose one from ClipArt. Apply desired effect and resize it if needed. Tap Preview. Adjust the focal distance to make sure two red dots become one. During the preview stage, you can still adjust the position of your file or resize it to match your material. Attach the front light filter and tap Next. Choose the process mode, apply desired resolution, then tap Send File. Set up all engraving parameters. Once all set, start the engraving process. Connect the machine to the software. Import your design. Apply engraving effect and resize it. Navigate to the bottom right. Choose the material you're currently using or apply engraving parameters manually. Click Preview. Adjust the focal distance. Once all set, start the engraving process. In this section, we will show you how to use the batch engraving button with the L-shaped positioner. Connect the USB cable between the batch engraving button and the laser unit. Place the L-shaped positioner to the desired position, then press it in. Go to Settings and enable Batch Engraving button. Finish the first engraving in the app. Replace a new material Long press to start the engraving process. Place the protective cover onto the surface of your material. Set up all engraving parameters. When using the handheld mode, make sure to rotate the design 180 degrees.